Good morning, Pastor Ray here with the Daily Bread. God is good. Today is Monday. I uh, hope all is well. And uh, it's a beautiful day. And so we want to get into the Word of God. Working through the book of Acts, we are in chapter 23. Um, and uh, last week we ended up with uh, Jesus giving Paul a personal visit and telling him to be of good cheer or to take courage, to live courageously. And then so we're picking up that story. It's continuing. The rest of the book of Acts focuses on the Apostle Paul. Um, he's in prison. And this is about the time that he's writing letters to the churches, which we read later, Romans and, you know, Hebrews and uh, Corinthians and uh, those letters it's during this time. And so uh, let's see what we can learn today. I know there's an enemy that is determined to put us away, man. The Bible says that the devil walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Don't forget that. I think we forget that, right? That there's a devil who wants to ruin us and make us fall away and make us give up faith and uh, go back to our old sin and God wants to help us because there's always a way that God provides for us to make it through amen so let's read it and see what we can learn uh, 23 Acts 23 verse 12 and so it says this and when it was day some of the Jews banded together and bound themselves under an oath saying that they would neither eat nor drink till they had killed Paul now there was more than 40 who had formed this conspiracy. They came to the chief priests and elders and said, We have bound ourselves under a great oath, and we will eat nothing until we have killed Paul. Now you, therefore, together with the council, suggest to the commander that he be brought down to you tomorrow as though you were going to make further inquiries concerning him, but we are ready to kill him before he comes near. So when Paul's sister's son, his nephew, heard of their ambush, he went and entered the barracks and told Paul. All right, so, right, there's an enemy that wants to stop the Apostle Paul. Don't make no mistakes. There's an enemy that wants to stop us from living for God, too. Come on, right? Have you experienced this? Don't you know this is your testimony, that there's a devil that wants to stop you, wants to get in and, 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 and wreak havoc in your marriage, wreak havoc in your church with issues and problems with people, uh, things that are probably just minor uh, and, and, and destroy uh, relationships and friendships. And uh, the Bible says that he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. It's very real. And, and, and uh, you know, God reaches out to people all the time, trying to get them to, to turn and, and to, to turn to him so that he can help them overcome this enemy. And, and, and then we don't want to turn. And God wants to help. And so here in our text, it's the same thing for us. The, the enemy is serious about taking us out. Serious about taking us out. It isn't a game. Serious. We can't play church. We can't just play religious. You can't do that. It, you have to be serious. You have to be real about this thing, that there is an enemy. That's why it says in the book of Ephesians, it says to take up the whole armor of God. Why? Because there's a fight that's going on, right? Come on, don't you know it's a fight? Even just to live life, not even talking about spiritual things, it's a fight. Now there's an enemy that's out to take us out. Listen, this is real and you have to be uh, aware and remember that there is an enemy who wants to take us out. Just like Paul, they want to take him out. But God provides a way. Amen. God provides a way. You know, it says that uh, with every temptation, there's always a way of escape. Amen. Amen. And so uh, no matter what's happening and what's going on, we have the authority to live above this world and whatever the enemy would bring towards us. You have, in the name of Jesus, by the blood, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we have the power to live above this world and above temptation and above the enemy. So I want to encourage you in that today. There was a help that was sent, right? Paul's nephew. Paul's nephew. And so God will work in mysterious ways and he will send help in time of need. And I want to encourage you in that today. Listen, some days you know what? You might be down, but you know what? You hold on because eventually uh, there's going to be some help that comes to pick you back up. Amen. Isn't that your testimony? You, but you got to hold on though. You can't quit. You got to keep going forward. You got to keep moving. You got to keep living for God. You got to keep praying. You got to keep serving God. See, it's wonderful when we're at church, right? And, you know, praise the Lord and all that. But the problem is you got to go home. And then you got to go to work. 
and then you have to wait until you come back to church again. It's in those times where the enemy is, is going to attack and strike. It's not when you're at church. It's, it's, it's over those times. And you have to be aware and you have to be vigilant. You have to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Unafraid, unashamed. And so I want to encourage you with that. There's an enemy that's out to get us, but there is God who is faithful to send help. Amen. Maybe you need help today. Why don't you cry out? God, send me some help. Send me some help. Amen. I know I need help. And so I uh, just want to encourage you in that today, working through the book of Acts. Amen. Uh, showing us the Christian life of the Apostle Paul. And so I want to encourage you today, keep going, stay strong in the Lord. Amen. Unashamed, unafraid. The Lord bless you today in Jesus' name.